Well, this is the engine bay with everything disconnected from the engine. And the radiator's been removed and so forth. So what's left is to attach the hoist, of course, the engine hoist, and then um, we will disconnect uh, the bell housing and uh, support the uh, transmission. And then the um, motor mounts. And you can see there's just two bolts on each one that will allow the mount and the uh, engine to be separated. Once that's been done, we can, uh, of course, move the engine forward, clear the bell housing, and up and out. So all of the uh, wiring and everything has been left attached to the engine. We left plenty of uh, loom uh, where we did cut the wires so that somebody could install this in another vehicle very easily um, or they could use their own, totally their own loom. But uh, a lot of times we'll leave a lot of that, uh, the looms in the vehicle and just tie it up and put it out of the way. But I, I'm pretty confident this will be one vehicle that will never again go back to uh, a stock setup here. Um, if it ever did get another internal combustion, I'm sure, you know, it'd be a, a different engine than, than these things. So anything, anyway, um, that's the next step, will be to lift this out. And uh, so just a reminder, you know, that uh, we have all these components that we need to get rid of. From the complete exhaust setup, To, you know the radiator starter all of the uh, air cleaner fan shroud all the components and everything on this vehicle is in pretty good shape I mean it's really been uh, kind of a pleasure to to deal with because uh, everything has been nice and clean and and uh, easy to unbolt and everything because it was completely you know, disassembled and restored and put back together not that long ago and not many miles on it since then. So, yeah, it's been a, a little cleaner and easier to work on than, than most. Well, you can see with the weight of the engine off the front end, it really sits up. The jack is just supporting the front of the transmission. It's not lifting the vehicle. So there's the hole when the engine is removed. So there's a few more things that we will be uh, removing. Uh, there's some electronics right there that um, is not necessary anymore that'll be removed. Of course, we got a, I got a guy coming over who's gonna purge the uh, air conditioning system, although it's probably already purged. I don't think it's worked in years, but um, we'll have that taken care of. And uh, so anyway, we uh, we're now going to do what uh, you need to do in this case, even though we're ordering a uh, adapter coupler off the shelf, so to speak. We're going to measure the magic number. And remember that's from the back of the, the block to the back of the flywheel. We've done this on camera many times, so we're not gonna bother showing you again. Uh, just again, in passing, note that 
the flywheel and the clutch are already marked uh, as they've been balanced. So of course we're going to keep that to reference. You want to keep everything balanced and as the way it was when you removed it. Like I said, we, we usually mark it unless of course it's already been marked. Now this is a, a new clutch and everything in here. Like I said, less than 2,000 miles, so none of this is going to need to be replaced. We're just going to retain what what was in there. And since the torque and horsepower figures are very close, um, no need for a, a beefier clutch or anything. We should be fine. So just a quick little walk around of the engine. So it uh, it's really clean. Like I said, very low miles. You can see the bottom side is just as clean as can be. And so we'll pull off the uh, amounts. We may want to retain those. Everything else is, is going to stay. We will be covering all of the open uh, ports and so forth, uh, cooling, intake, fuel, so forth. All those will be capped for storage until the thing sells. And so once I get the magic number, just so we can double check it when it goes together that everything is correct, uh, then we'll put it on the engine stand and stash it away. Well, doing some measurements, removing some of the uh, items that won't be used, um, still have the fuel system to remove, and of course the air conditioning. Um, but that'll be in the next day or two. Till then, we've taken some measurements, have some reference points. Uh, see where the hood fits and uh, measuring from you know the um, the shaft on the transmission uh, the steering and the cross member there uh, all those things um, the the width and this is a real nice rectangular engine compartment here once these things are cleaned out this is going to be a real nice uh, slate for working on uh, everything that will be left is back out of the way. Uh, one issue is, though, as with the last project that we brought you on a video series, the uh, Mercedes 230SL, this is going to be about the same depth. Uh, looks deeper just the way it's designed, makes it look deeper, but uh, the same issue. And so the uh, the uh, the hood would be very tight. Uh, I think we're going to do something different on this uh, than from what we did on the Mercedes. Until next time, thanks for watching.